so you have to think about the deepest parts of a skull if we're making a head, right? So what you want to do is think about like the holes in your skull. So what's the holes in your skull called? Do you remember? Like if you look at a skull, what's like the darkest parts of a skull? Your eye sockets, right? Oh, yeah. If you think about it. Because those are your two deepest ends. Okay, so we have to think about highs and we have to think about lows when we're dealing with sculpture. Ins and outs, right? So we're going to make eye sockets anywhere on here. And I'm going to make multiple eye sockets on this just to kind of do this demo over and over and over. This has to be really soft. Okay, so your eye socket, you want to find two places where you have about an eyeball width in between. Okay, so you're going to basically make it kind of dig in. Okay, we're not putting any holes in this just because it's a pot, right? So you're going to dig in. You're going to come out and down. It looks like a Ray-Ban sunglass. Okay, or like those aviator sunglasses. So I'm going to actually support the back side while I do this. Okay, now for me, I'm going to make like a billion faces on this. So this is just going to be one set, but that is the ideal. Then you get an eyeball and you're going to want to fit it in. You're going to want that eyeball to be shadowy. So this is actually a little large. I'm going to pinch off a little bit of clay and re-roll it. You want that eyeball to have some shadow around it. Does that make sense? And then you take this eyeball, right, and because it's a pot, you're going to take this eyeball and you're going to cut it in half. So I got some block plastic clay on my knife here, so i got to clean that off. You're going to cut it in half, right? And so your eyeball is just basically a ball in a socket. So now you can see it's not going to stick out too far. It's basically in line with the surface of the cylinder, right? But what is going to have to happen on here is this is going to get scored and slipped. And yeah, you still have to do some principles of uh, attaching when it comes to your sculpture, but there's a lot of stuff that we're going to kind of slop on. So I just slipped the ball there. You can see the water squeezing off. Keep this as ball-like as you can, okay? Um, and buckle up for the sculpture ride because it's a fun one, okay? I love teaching this class or this lesson. This is one of my favorite lessons to teach. Does that mean that I'm a sculptor? I don't know. I might do some sculpting, a little bit more of it. We'll see. So that's the next uh, step. So after that, it looks weird, right? But what's going to happen is you have, think about a skull. You have all of this flesh on top of your skull. You've got really puffy eyelids and like puffy, fatty cheeks and stuff like that. So we're actually going to add fat and eyelids and flesh to this skull structure and it's going to really come about really easily. But that's the first step. We go step by step. It's super easy.